How do these scary nuclear power really? plants make energy? They're not scary. They are the most tightly controlled thermal machines ever built with the highest level of design margin. Enter Albert Einstein, smart okay. German scientist dude. Hello? Remember his famous equation, E equals MC squared? So he didn't invent the nuclear plants, but that equation does explain why nuclear reactions release so much energy. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, which in non-sciencey terms means there is a lot of energy and not a lot okay. of mass. So look at this. Sort of, but reactors do not directly convert mass into energy. That's describing a matter-antimatter annihilation reactor that you see in Star Trek. It's really delta mc squared from a mass defect. That is to say 0.1% of the fuel's mass. Still way more energy dense than any other modern source though. A nuclear reactor. Inside you've got okay. these rods filled with uranium surrounded by water. Now turn it on, Albert. Okay, don't go it just shot out a little neutron bomb. No, no switch is going to fire neutrons. Neutrons are going to come from startup neutron sources. That smashes into one of the uranium atoms. This releases a whole lot of energy and sends three more neutrons flying off. So, basically, for uranium-235, but it's not a hard three, it can be anywhere from two to three. The key point is, for a critical reactor, exactly one neutron is going to cause an additional fission when the reactor is at steady state power. Sparking a chain reaction that creates huge amounts of energy. A recent yes. problem? Yeah, if you don't contain this reaction, you end up with a nuclear bomb. No, power reactors cannot explode like nuclear weapons. Fuel enrichment is far too low, geometry is all wrong, and the neutron spectrum is too slow. So they keep it in water to slow the neutrons down a bit, plus 20 centimeter thick steel. Okay, he got that part about Moderation, right? But what happens to all that nuclear energy created? The nuclear energy heats up that water and turns it into steam. That steam turns a turbine, the turbine powers a generator, and the generator makes electricity. Just like any other power plant, you just replace the boiler with a reactor. Then just in case things get too hot, they've got these giant towers to release all that steam. No, cooling towers are not emergency systems. They release energy from the secondary non-nuclear part of the plant, and they exist because the water is reused operating in a steam cycle.